Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to switch gears back to AI real quick. Runway Gen 1 is now available to everyone. You can try it for free. So you can see right here on 25 credits, $12 a month or $28 per month per editor. Okay, so this is it. Um, let's take a look at the monthly. How much is it actual monthly, though? Like 15 bucks a month. So like a Netflix subscription, you get 625 credits. Now... Just so you know, I have not tried this at all. It just came out today. I signed up for it, but I never got accepted. But it is out publicly now. So that being said, we'll do try for free. All right, so here we are in the webpage. And this is what I'm interested in. Gen 1 video to video. That's what we're going to be taking a look at. I'm going to upload a video that I just recorded earlier this morning while I was making my coffee. Let's do this one first. I pretty much gathered some of my son's toys and just kind of created like, I don't know, I guess like an outline or a blocking of like buildings right here and a car, right? So I have this right here. I'm just going to push that car forward. And what I'm going to try and do is right here on the right for references, I'm going to try and do a text prompt. So cyberpunk city at night with a car generate. Um, this is going to take a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this video. Okay, so here is our generated video, and I'll press play here. It's only three seconds. It's probably because I'm a trial, but... This is very, very interesting. Because again, you're probably looking at this and we're like, that looks like hot garbage. But at the same time, if this is Gen 1, just the technique by itself should make you very, very excited. We basically turned this to this with just typing a text. And I'm going to try and increase the style strength to like 100 to see what that's going to do. And it looks like it's going to create another generation instead of overriding it, which is kind of cool. See if I don't like it. When I was a kid, I grew up in a third world country, and I've told this story before to some of y'all. When I was a kid, I used to like watching movies from, like, you know, television, American movies. But I obviously, live in a third world country, we don't have cameras, lights, all that jazz, cell phones, and... So it, I've always wanted to make a movie in my head. I've always created a movie in my head. Everything. I would cut it inside my head. And I was dreaming. And I said, one day, wouldn't it be cool if I could just somehow plug it in somewhere? And it would make the movie for me. Directly from my head. And it would spit out a movie. Without having to do any of the camera, all that shooting and all that stuff. Just directly from my head. Now, I know this is not exactly the same thing. But it's pretty close to that dream that I had. Because somebody one day is going to be able to create movies mainly just by typing text. This is pretty exciting stuff, at least for me. And I know there's a caveat to this. And, and I'm going to be making a video. Actually, I'm going to live stream a video to talk about AI. All right, because I, I know there's always going to be everything in life. And everything in life, there's always going to be a bad side of something. So let's take a look. It's done. All right, so here we go. Press play. So this is like super, super crazy. And you can actually see my hand move up there with the clouds. And that's just wicked. That is just really, really, really wicked to me. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and upload another video. And I have another one called Car 2. So I'll upload that. Again, I made it short, so I just cut it. We'll go back to the we'll go back to the magic tools, and we're gonna wait for this to come up, and I'll refresh it here. So here we go. He's he's driving. He's thinking about his day. He's like, hey, I forgot to turn the lights off. All right. So here we go. We're gonna go, we're gonna go again in the text prompt, and we're gonna type in a cyberpunk robot cop driving a car, and let's go ahead and start with fifty again. And then we'll take a look and see what that looks like. Okay, so here we are. It loaded up. And let's press play. That's pretty darn insane. And if you notice, 
it even recognized the poll that I passed right here. Watch this window. That's incredible. And again, we'll stylize it to 100%. And my goodness. I actually have a short script that I wrote for this. But again, I don't think it's... I'm going to be, unless I train my own AI in this, I'm not going to be able to get consistent results. So if I had like another scene, I don't know if that same robot right there is going to show up right here. It's probably going to look different. So that's really one of the downsides right now with AI is the consistency, like I've mentioned before. Yeah, that totally just jacked it up. It doesn't even, it doesn't even make sense. So 50%. Is, is really where it's at. It looks like we have some advanced options here. Oh, okay. This is cool. Oh, I can't upscale or remove. All right, so we have some more options in there as far as the text to prompt. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Kind of just like getting started with Runway Gen 1 video to video. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you'll think. Are you going to be playing around with this? It looks kind of fun. I mean, I don't think it's going to be like production ready. Unless you're doing experimental animation, obviously, then you can definitely use this for that. Uh, that being said, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.